in this life, you're gonna have a lot of entanglements, a lot of people putting pressure on you, stress, a lot of people pulling from you, okay? A lot of demands, requests, different things that, you know, some people, just different types of characters out there, okay? And out of all of what I just mentioned, it all has to do with, you know, like, having a life that quite frankly is full of responsibilities full of things to do and sometimes you feel worn out beat up etc and i felt like the word that god gave me was to cleave unto god the bible says that it's, the battle is the lord's that's number one and what that means is that when when you when you're single-eyed when you're not okay this is what god wants out of all of us and this is the way that life will work most uh, effectively and efficiently you know everything in life if you if you do it the right way it will work if you're out of place out of order out of in a place where you should not be things are not going to fit into place it's like putting a like in the kids toys it's like putting a triangle into a circle uh shape and it's just like it's not working okay so what i'm trying to say is this god wants us the word is god wants us to cleave unto him okay the bible says draw unto god and god will draw unto you and so whatever your distractions in this world whatever things that are like on your mind and things in this and that the goal here is to cast your cares upon the lord and to be so close to him that his peace you know is just like overtaking you like a wave the only way to do that the only way for God to, to manage your life is because you gave it to God. And the only way that God can have his way in the midst of you being the eye of a storm, let's say, is when you cling unto God. When you connect yourself to the vine, you bear good fruit. And so whatever the situation, whatever the circumstance, you're going to find that the closer you are to God, the more sanity you have, the more peace you have. And that doesn't mean that your problems go away. That just means that your problems don't dictate how you feel and and what you do and, and, and this and that. A lot of people are challenged by life. And God is saying, put your eyes on me and not on your, your problems. You know, because this is the thing. There's, there's something called favor and grace. God could, when you put your eyes on God and you draw into God and, and you give God time and this and that, your mountains go away. Your enemies go away. Why? Because God takes up your challenges. And so we put forth the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and everything else falls into place for us. When we try to tackle everything, I'm not trying to tell anybody to be irresponsible, to put off what they need to do. I'm trying to say that there's a way that works. And the way that works is focus on God. Like let your, let your focus, your gaze, your eyes be on God your mind be on him let your worship go to him and out of that place you're going to find that god steps into your territory into your you know your view of what you have going on in your life and he starts to take care of business all around you and that's how we do life and you'll find that things are getting checked off and getting done but that's the lifestyle the lifestyle is god first and then everything gets taken care of. So we don't try to squeeze God in somewhere when we have time. You just God first. Everything falls into place. The more, the more you get to God, the more you get out of the deal. God bless.